Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, when you look at cars like this, there is a different level of cars all over when you talk about mid-year Corvettes, right? Mid-year Corvettes have been one of those cars that continues to go up in value year after year. And you say, well, Tone, how could you possibly predict the future that these cars are going to go up in value each year? Well, here's what I can tell you. If these cars, depending on the year and model and what have you, were between $4,000 and $6,000, they are no longer $4,000 and $6,000. So the history says that this can continue doing what it's been doing. When you get cars that are super correct and rare, meaning that they are a higher horsepower car, lesser built, and they have great options on them, right? Then they become even more so collectible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a few minutes walking around this car. We're going to see what's authentic. We're going to look at stuff that may not be authentic, and we're going to go ahead and see how to figure uh, you behind the wheel, and we'll sort that out in just a second. All right, so, so when you first saw this car, you go, wow, that's a great looking car. But a lot of times you don't know why it's a great looking car, right? So let me just point out a few things. First off, this is an original 974 coated rally red car with black interior from the factory right? That makes it pretty rare in its own right because there wasn't a lot of these made. Not to mention spectacular paint. I'll show you that quality in just a second. But then if you add the knockoff wheels and red line tires, right? Those are very expensive. So as we walk around this car and we see some of the things that make it a little bit nicer, you can see why some cars are worth more than others. Add the side exit exhaust instead of just the exhaust that comes out the back. It sounds great as you're rowing through the shifter and those spinners are spinning. You can look out the window and you see those doing their thing and the red line tires just go so great with the paint. All right, so come on up here. Let's have a quick peek at the quality of the paint because right here you should be able to to read all of those words in the paint. If you're looking at other cars someplace else, which would surprise me, but if you are, this is what they need to be doing for you. All right, so this just came in. We're finishing detailing the whole car. The engine compartment is not up to the specs that I would really like. I want to show it to you anyway, but it's going to be even nicer because if you like it right now, it's going to be really great, all right? So for instance, here we're finishing up. We have our GM hoses. We have tower clamps the way we're supposed to. 327, 350 horse motor. We got the battery topper over there. We got the Harrison overfill tank over there. We got our correct Harrison stickers, day coated radiator, all of these things in place here uh, that make for just a, a different car. And so like if you go to a car show or something, you open up the hood of your car, you want it to look nice with this ignition shielding. So many of the cars that you're gonna look at online are less money. You're absolutely right. You're gonna find cars that are less money, but do they have tower clamps? Do they have the correct hoses? Do they have the correct fan in them? Do they have side exit? exhaust? Do they have spinner wheels on them? These are all of the things. Do they have two tops? That's what I'm saying. When you see a car like this, it has so much going for it that the book really can't add for it. It's a kind of a one-of-a-kind car, and I, I challenge you to find a car just like it anywhere, uh, anywhere close to the dollars. One of the things I love about these cars, first off, is the fact that the soft top stays with the car. Other cars, you know, it sits in the trunk and it gets a rain and you got like whatever or it gets super hot and it's a pain. Here, the Corvettes, and that's why these cars are so popular is because they can be really driven. When you talk about uh, cars of this age, this car still has four wheel disc brakes. It has a four wheel fully independent suspension. It was very ahead of its time and with the white top on it, just looks great. And these have some storage too, so uh, with the top up, you got a ton of storage here, but with the top down, it sits all the way back there, so you have all underneath this storage compartment right here, and then you can put some soft bags right there, and the great thing about it is the top is always with you, so see how much room is back here? You can throw a couple bags back there, you can put the dog back there, whatever you want, and then you can close that up and go for a ride. All right, so I just wanted to spin this around real quick and show you, this is all restored too. All the trim has been repainted, all the new seals and gaskets that are around it, this is all polished. 
and the paint on top looks fabulous. The reason I bring that up is because it changes the whole look of the car. So when you ride around with the top down, maybe in the summertime and maybe put the top up once in a while, in the wintertime, I still think you should drive this car. You don't drive in the snow and salt and what have you, but there's a lot of great days in the winter. Put this on and you're going to have a completely different looking car. So it's like getting a brand new car come the winter and that's a lot of fun too. All right, so let's hop inside and see uh, what we got. All right, so some little touches that I like. Uh, the footwell lighting that's working right now. That's a, that's a big deal to me because you know what? So many people don't make that work. All the interior is new. The seats, look how nice and thick the foam is. They're not all flattened out. They're not baggy. New door panels, new window cranks, new uh, pieces like that. The dash has been fully restored. Uh, you have your 160 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tack, and the 6250. Uh, for the red line for this uh, high horsepower motor. You got your original Wonder Bar AM FM stereo. And here's a nice touch that I like that says, here's another level of restoration, right? Is this right here, and that's that the clock is working. You say, well, tell them what's the big deal about a clock working? Well, the clocks didn't really work two years after the cars were new. They certainly aren't working 60 years after the car uh, is new. And so I just feel like sometimes these little things let you know that somebody put a little extra effort into the car and that's why the interior looks so great. I want to talk a little bit about the restoration also in the back of the car. Like you're not going to spend a lot of time back here and you don't really care, but what you do care about is when it's in your garage and you walk out of your garage and you walk down there and you look at your car, you know what? When I have a great car at home or a motorcycle, something that I love, I don't put a car cover on it. The reason why I don't put a car cover on it is because I like to walk out and look at it all the time. This should probably get a car cover, but all of these things have, are new from the, from the lids to the emblems to the latches there uh, to the pins for the hard top, right? All new bumpers, taillight bezels, lenses. Like you can see why this was so shiny and beautiful because everything on it is fairly new and uh, reflects just the way it should. This isn't an aged old car. This is a beautifully restored uh, newer 66 that just drives fabulous. All right, so we closed up this on this beautiful real deal rally red paint car, which has great paint, I might add, right? With the black interior and the hard top, four wheel disc brakes, four wheel independent suspension, knock off wheels with red line radial tires, right? Side exit exhaust, all of these things on this car. This was a very expensive restoration on a very expensive matching numbers, right? 327, 350 horse in there. It's a high horsepower. This car is fast. Don't be confused by 350 horsepower. First off, this car is way lighter than everything else that's out there. The 350 is real deal. It sounds great and it rolls on down the road. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about the 66 Corvette Roadster and uh, if you click on the link below you can go ahead and get pictures, description and pricing on everything else.